There are many situations in physics or natural sciences and engineering. A, qu a quantity is zero everywhere except at a single point. It is infinite at that point in such a way that its integral over any interval containing that point has some finite value. Formally, the Dirac delta function is defined as delta x equals to zero, uh, where x not equals to zero, and integration over a to b f x delta x dx equals to f not, where f x is a well behaved or good function and integration includes the origin. There are no such function really exist and it may be approximated by a sequence of function and it was first introduced by the Dirac, physicist Paul Dirac. Formal example, some examples are there, there are sequences which approximate Dirac delta behavior, this kind of behavior supposed to be delta n x n delta suffix n sub suffix n x n divided by root pi exponential minus n square x square and it is a very famous Gaussian function where if you increase the n it is a kind of bell kind of thing and when you increase the n and it will be more close to uh, x equals to zero point and it is sharply peaked at that point and there are another function is kind of toxin box kind of thing and and i have explained Dirac delta function in a in a another lecture which is uh, available in youtube and you can go through this i am not give detailed description theoretical description of Dirac delta function here my aim in this lecture is to give a lecture on how to tackle numerically the Dirac delta function and this is a basically a um cauchy function or Lorentzian function or Bray to Wigner distribution and it also behaves something like a Dirac delta like behavior and there are so many things and basically we want to basically uh, try to evaluate this property minus infinity plus infinity delta x minus delta x minus x naught some x naught fx integer dx that gives you fx naught that means uh, we try to uh, uh, did we we delta x minus x naught times f x must be dx must be f x naught and it must integration some minus infinity plus infinity it may not be minus infinity plus infinity it must includes the x naught sufficiently and th this property we try to uh, explain uh, try to investigate. Uh, using some different uh, approximation of delta function and different well behaved wave function. Suppose the d delta fx may be x or x square, whatever, whatever analytical or good wave, uh, good wave function, a uh, good function that you can think. And now we go to the numerical part in a Python way. In a Pythonish way, we try to doing this. And I have written a program uh, uh, using Gaussian function and I'm open it and first we import the numpy module import numpy as np and scipy module import scipy dot integrate module rather scipy dot integrate as sci sci and import matplotlib.pyplot as pl. First we define the delta function or rather approximation of the Dirac delta function and we define def f1 xn return n divided by square root of np dot it comes from the square root comes from the np module numpy module and np dot sqrt np dot pi pi is coming from numpy and star np dot exponential minus n and x minus a naught whole square i am just giving a shift of x naught and you just remember this and uh, here i am just giving a simple uh, something uh, trans simple shifting property shift shift it something like that exponential minus n square x minus some a naught whole square okay fine 
and I'm just giving a simple shift here x minus a naught the whole square and uh, first we take n equals to 1 and n equals to some value 4 this it may be 0 but I am taking is 4 and, uh, and we create a um, lean space uh, basically lean sp uh, x lean space means a return evenly spaced numbers over over a specified interval supposed to be minus 5 uh, a naught minus 5 to a naught plus 5 thousand values and we define some function which is called in our uh, theoretical part that is fx I am calling it gx and which returns x that means delta function this is the delta function and this is your fx function that means here in this program I have written gx function now we product of these two function that means this part that means this part uh, this is this is basically I'm just uh, and uh, just giving this is a delta function f1 x is the delta function and fx is basically gx function and p1 x is the product delta x minus x naught that means f1 x n times gx that means fx this gives you the this product now I integrate this uh, integrate this from using the quad module uh, psi dot q u uh, q u a d and p1 the function p1 which is the product of f1 and gx from supposed to be a0 minus 15 to a0 plus 15 I am different ranges of integration from supposed to be a0 minus 1 to plus 1 and let us check before going into that details and here I plot x versus f1 xn that means delta function and the product function and and now I explain all these things while doing running the program now I run the program python uh, file name is gaussian dot py well and uh, this is basically I am just uh, just uh, giving a uh, first I want to see what is the delta function here looks like and this is basically the function delta function here and if we increase n equals to 2 if we increase n equals to 2 then I run it once more and you will think it's mar much more sharply peaked about x equals to 4 and if you go through this if you just check this and what is the value of the integration it must be uh, x becomes 4 that means from our property you just recall it recall it and uh, this gives is fx assumes the value x naught that means here x naught is a naught here 4 that means this is x that means 4 the result is 4 and if you check the numerical results that is basically 4 the first result and you just integrate not from minus infinity to plus infinity a naught minus 15 to a naught plus 15 and if we integrate I'm just doing a play around these things a naught minus 1 to a naught plus 1 it gives not a good value 3.98 uh, close but not good one and if you just range of integration from a naught minus 0.5 to a naught plus 0.5 and it gives uh, something like that but if you range of integration becomes smaller and this gives uh, not the correct value at all and there is a NP there is infinite very large value you can integrate that is psi quad p1 the product function minus infinity to plus infinity infinite range it gives you the mostly correct value that is basically 4 and the error is and you just just uh, foot for uh, thinking that is the error is 4 times 10 to the power minus 9 and if you integrate from minus 15 to 15 that is also 7.9 7.688 into 10 to the power minus 9 you just think about this and if you increase to supposed to be t 10 times what happens just check it now and this is basically 3.999999 but that means if you uh, increase the range it may not be correct at all you just think about this thing but plus infinity plus infinity this is basically almost 4 just think about the anomaly in the results but almost it is almost 4 but whenever you 
about include a very short range very small range of values around a not it gives the wrong value and this is the Dirac delta function because it's a very sharply picked and it be at and and, and it satisfies the property uh, this property that is delta integration there must be an integration here I, I have already told you I have already told you this there I think there is an integration and this is not and this is and and delta x minus x not fx that must be equals to fx not now we check with different uh, values of x different values of x and now we go to supposed to be this is x square what happens to it just check it out that must be 16 right x square that means 16 this is the value 16 point something and the, the now I integrate from minus infinity to plus infinity is not actually 16 but it is a better result which one is better result that means a not minus 1 a not plus 1 and you just think about why the, the result is quite different whenever you're changing the functions and something else you just play around with n equals to supposed to be n equals to 3 that means much more sharply picked and the error becomes different now it is much more sharply picked delta function is much more sharply picked but the result is now result is 16.05 and error is 10 to the power minus 18 order here I have just integrate from minus 1 to plus 1 around a0 around a0 here in minus 1 to plus 1 a0 around around a0 that is uh, basically this one and uh, this is almost uh, not good one but it is almost wrong results and this is more or less correct result and it is almost same accuracy the first result and third result almost 10 to the power minus 18 order now you can think about n equals to 4 and now you save and run this program and this becomes uh, and uh, the first result is much more I think accurate the error is minimum and here error is the maximum you play around these things and it becomes a much more sharply picked delta function and you increase in and you check different values of a0 and the different ranges of integration and your peculiarity will come and try to explain and explanation comes from the quad function and the and what quad function does actually you just go through the the numpy package and scipy package rather scipy package quad function is in the scipy package and you go through the actual implementation rather what is behind the machinery behind the quad function writing python program for simulating drag delta function using this cauchy type approximation where delta n x is n by pi 1 over 1 plus n square x minus some n naught square and you try to write a program similar program or a much more better improved program for approximating delta function and try to check these properties with different functions